So, that was the intro to Milk and Honey, I think Jake's cover, um, or I should say one of his covers. Um, the only reason I say that is because, you know, when I was learning I was listening to as many of them I could find really, and, and every time it was different, you know, he'd move his capo, he'd change the tuning on his guitar, he'd, you know, do different things with his right hand. I'm going to put a link to the version that I based my cover on. Um, as far as I can tell, I think it's one of his, if not the earliest, recording that we have of him playing this song. So it stands to reason that it's going to be, um, you know, slightly less complicated and a bit easier to learn. And it's not an easy song, uh, you know, overall to begin with, so, you know, let's make it easy. <laughs> as easy as we can for ourselves as possible. Uh, now I know a lot of you guys have been asking me for this, um, and I know this is only the intro, but hopefully this is going to give you a good place to start, and it's useful for me to, you know, break it up, uh, because it's taken me a little while to get this right, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, let's be honest. And I'm going to be telling you which strings to play, um, and it's going to be hopefully as easy for you to follow along as possible. Now the uh, next video will have the the uh, chorus and the bridges and the outro hopefully. But if you can learn this, then the next one's going to be a lot easier because it all comes into play. So what you want to know to begin with is just standard tuning. Capo on the second fret. Now mine's only on the third because my guitar is tuned one step down from standard. But for you guys, you're going to want it on the second. Now, uh, I'm going to go into a bit of technique in my right hand, just because, you know, if you if you have a bad technique or a wrong technique, it's going to be a lot harder for you to unlearn that. Uh, so it's better to start from the basics and work our way up. Now, what I do is I use my little finger to rest against the body of the guitar, uh, being careful not to mute that bottom, uh, sorry, that top high note string with the finger. So far enough away that it's not going to affect the sound, but enough that you know you can be as close with your other fingers. So it's just to just to steady the hand, and I'm going to use my thumb to play the bottom three strings, and then for the next three I'm going to use my index for the third, middle for the second, and ring finger for the first. Now that's just a basis, you know. You can alternate your technique um, if that's not working out for you. You know, you can use your middle for the top two strings, you know, it's all down to you and what works best for you. But let's begin. The first chord is going to be the A minor, and the notes you're going to want to play are going to be the fifth string, then the third string, then the second, and then the first, all one after another. Now we're missing a note there, and that's because we need to hammer on on that first fret of the second string. Like that. Play that three times. After the third time, you're going to want to play the six and then the third, then the six again, and then the third again. That's the first chord. Second chord, you're going to want to move your ring finger to the third fret of the sixth string. I'm going to play exactly what we just played. Except this time we're going to start on the 6th string and we're going to ignore the 5th string. That's the 2nd chord. The next chord we're going to move the thing we just moved back to where it was in the A minor, but at the same time we're moving our middle to the 2nd fret of the 6th string. So it sort of becomes this little jump, you know, this, the, the tempo that we eventually play at. It's going to be quite, quite quick. So the, the notes for that one are going to be the 6th string, then the 3rd, then we play the 6th with the 2nd, and then we hammer on at the same time with that one. Back to the 3rd on its own. Then the 6th with the 1st, then back to the 3rd on its own. Now we play that twice. After that second time, we do the sixth string, 
then the second string, back to the sixth string, and then the third string. It's all together. That's the third chord. The fourth chord, you move our middle finger off and we move our thumb over the top of the guitar to press that first fret of the sixth string. And now your middle finger, it doesn't need to go anywhere. I put it back down on the A minor, I think just out of muscle memory more than anything. But that's the chord. Thumb over the top on the first fret of the sixth string. And then we start again, just how we started on the last one. Six, then the third, six with the second and the hammer on. Back to the third. Back to the six with the first. Back to the third note then. Now after that third on its own, we go to the six. And then after the, the six, we play the second. And we're using our little finger here to play the third fret of the second string. Now we do this technique where we push down on the uh, on our chord little finger um, and and push and release to sort of mute the string there like that you're not coming off the string entirely but just enough uh, that it that it stops the sound so we do that three times but in between those we're going back to the six string so starting on the six and ending on the six and on that third third time we do the second string, we go into a bend. So it ends on the sixth string, but it sounds like it ends on the, the second only because we go into that bend there. Now you hold that bend, um, and after you play the sixth string, you go to the first, then the third, and then you're going to want to release the bend at this point and you play the third again but this time we take our ring finger off so we're playing the third open i'm going to play that from the beginning for you guys again now just to complicate things even more he does a double hammer on there so that first hammer on that we do, he does it twice, like that. Sorry, you get the idea. Um, you know, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do the double hammer on, but that's how he does it in, in the song. And in fact, that's the only place in the entire song that he does do that. If it's throwing you off, don't worry about it, just do it once. Now, back to where we were, after we do that open third string, we put our finger back down rather quickly, and then quickly go back to the very beginning, where we start on the fifth, and then we go to the third, then the second, then the first, with that one on the second. just like how we did right at the very beginning. Then after we do that, we're going to want to go to this new chord here, which is the A minor without our index finger, which is the two, so the two fingers there. And then we play the sixth, then the fourth, then the third, then the second, back to the sixth, and then the first. Then back to the six, and then back to the third. Like that. So you do that once, and then you change chords. We take our ring finger off, and we put our index finger back down, but this time on that third string instead of the second. So that's the first fret of the third string. And we play exactly what we just played. So those together. And then 
back to the very beginning again. Now he plays that about four or five, four to six times, I think it's six times, um, and then he goes into the singing. So you don't, you don't finish that one off with the... That's just where he begins the verse. So hopefully that is enough to get you guys started. If you learn all that, like I said, the next bit should come at least a little bit smoother to you. You know, the chords are the same and the pattern varies ever so slightly. But for now, hopefully that all works out. Last thing to say, good luck. <laughs>